I was driving to the Tampa airport and then just got an email that it had been canceled. Medill freshman Lucas Cortez was not alone in having his flight plans hit by a bit of turbulence this past week. Bad weather and the raging Omicron variant made landing a trip back to campus a challenge for many Northwestern students. I went to pick my flight and they gave me like a ton of options from the 2nd to the 7th, which is perfect because we had to be here by the 7th anyway. But then I'm like looking through the times and all of them are like during my classes. And the only one that doesn't like directly happen during a class um, was yesterday on the 5th. And the 5th is my sister's birthday. A midday flight from Kansas City meant Kufour was forced to attend her classes from the road. Wanted to make a good first impression, which is like hard when I'm like schlepping my bags into my trunk on on the Zoom. Most students arrive at Chicago O'Hare, where 285 flights were canceled over the weekend alone, according to FlightAware. For some students, traveling during the Omicron surge added extra concern. I was definitely a little more nervous than I usually am, but I wore a mask that was more protective than like my usual cloth mask that I wear. We did hear from university spokesperson John Yates, who said, quote, students facing unexpected delays should contact the university testing team and explain their situation. They are still required to test prior to returning to a classroom. From O'Hare International Airport, Logan Skijano, Northwestern News Network.